is finally here my outdoor season has officially started uh, and we are getting started with the absolute worst sunday league conditions you could probably imagine things this year are a little different from how they were last year we're split into three divisions we got placed into division three and uh we all have high expectations because it's the most that we've stayed active actually playing from indoor now coming into outdoor but um it was a, a rough start for the game for us Just contain, contain! Justin, that's you right there. Contain! Tyler, chase this! But their pressure within the first five minutes proved to be just a little bit too much, and then this happened. Yes! Good job! Keep it on the ground, guys. You guys Right there, the guy who said that was one of our teammates last year that we ended up dropping from our team. And, you know, he's kind of right. I have struggled blocking some low shots, but I had that completely covered. It felt so good when I was watching it come towards me. But you can just see it just got right under the arm, ended up popping in. So I was pumped coming into this. This definitely deflated the mood a little bit, but it's a 90-minute game. There's still a lot left to play for. <laughs> After that goal, they still had the pressure on us, and we were kind of fighting back and forth with it. It was pretty even, uh, but for the most part, it was just kind of commanding the defense and just trying to track and watch some of the runs. They just had one striker who was basically doing everything for them, so that was the one that we had to keep our focus on. Hey, right, shift right. Shift right. Shift right. After holding them off for the better half of probably 15 to 20 minutes, we still hadn't gotten a goal. They got another opportunity on net, which kind of made a bad read on this one based on the body positioning of the striker when he had the ball. And I'll give a breakdown to it, too. definitely take full blame for this happening I, I didn't have a lot of these opportunities in indoor and i haven't played an outdoor setting for a while what i should have done is just made my body big and put my arms out and actually went sideways instead of kind of going in for like a slide tackle on him if you will with my body being in front so you live and you learn Then our striker Connor was able to hit a beauty to try to get us back into the game. And with that, Connor officially gets us on the board for the first goal of the season, officially setting his counter at one. But only about five minutes will go by before I find myself in another one on one with the striker. I think this for me, I either got to come out and close the angle a little bit more, or if I just got to ground faster, you can see it in the clip. Like my fingertips are very close to the ball. I, I just didn't get down fast enough. I've been trying to do this thing. We're switching up from foot saves to actually making collapsing dives. And it's been a weird transition. I don't know what to do because my judgment is sometimes off, especially with outdoor with how short I am and how big the goals are. Over. Deep body, deep body. Catch it. Another one on one, but this time a different outcome. I, I think I would have had this covered if it was actually on frame. You be the judge. Body tray, body tray, body. Yeah. Fucking shit. Yeah. Up left. Wipe. That's us. 
So now going to the second half, we are down 3-1. Um, we had a, a nice talk at halftime about what we need to correct, what we have to try to do better. So we actually came out with a lot more aggression out here in the second half. And one of their guys left mid-game. They were playing down a man for a majority of this game, which kind of makes things worse. Uh, what happens next confused the crap out of me. Uh, I'm going to let the clip play entirely through, but I was almost rattled because I'm like, man, I made another save and it went in. That's a goal. That's a goal. Oh, it was outside. There's a hole. And before we knew it, our consistent pressure paid off. We ended up getting fouled in the box. We had a penalty kick and we had our guy Matt step up to take it. Now you might be looking at that zoomed in and be like, damn, your camera is tilted. No, the, these were some of the worst field conditions that I've played on this league in the past three years. Uh, if you even look at my boots, grass covers up to my ankles and there is a giant hill in the middle of this field. This was the same how we were last year. We'd start slow in the first half, second half, we'd always create some magic. So we're able to finally tie the game up at three apiece, but I, I wanted to win. I, I was hoping that we'd just keep our foot on the gas, and I start making some long balls that actually start to progress up the field a little bit more down here in the final 15. Force him back middle. Force him back middle. He wants to go here. Force him back middle, Nate. Ah. Nothing. Play the open blue. You got Jackson. Stop kicking it in the middle. White. Not much happened the rest of the way. They were getting some attempts, but they were just skying them over every single time, or they're doing a good job of, of getting into our half, getting some throw-ins, getting some corners, but I think ultimately the one-man show that was the striker ended up gassing out, so probably kind of thankful for that. Did make one save, but the good part is for me, the mental bounce back of, of letting in three goals in the first half to not allow a single one out here in the second. We'll be back again next Sunday. Hope you all enjoyed the video. See you all next week.